Hey, Coach. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. Uh, we'll get started with questions. We'll go to Demetrius Harvey. Hey, Coach. Uh, C.J. Beathard placed on the COVID list. What's your plan sort of for the backup quarterback job on Sunday? Uh, we'll, we'll bring um, Danny Etling up to the, uh, to the active roster. Okay, and, and do you expect uh, Cam Robinson to get off the list, or is he probably out for Sunday? Um, I would say it's not 100% yet. You know, there, um, there's still a possibility. we got a little bit of time left, so we'll see how it goes. Appreciate it. Thanks, Demetrius. We'll go to John Reed, Gary Smits, and then Mio O'Brien. Hey, Coach. I just wanted to check in with you to see if have the Jaguars had any contact with you about the head coaching job, or do you have anything lined up next week with them? Um, I don't have anything lined up right now. Just uh, uh, John, just worried about this game right now. Um, you know, there's there's enough going on with that. I understand. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, John. We'll go to Gary and then Mia. Hey, Coach. How you doing today? Good. How are you? Not bad. Coach, um, a lot of people thought Josh Allen had kind of, uh, you know, the, the real Josh Allen had surfaced at the, at the Buffalo game. And I wonder if there's an easy answer as to why the production level might have dropped off since then. In addition uh, to, obviously, he was on the COVID list and there's been, he banged up a little bit. But is there another reason, maybe? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. You know, um, you know I, was, I was really proud of him last week. I mean, he, he fought hard to get back in that game, um, to come back from the COVID list and, uh, you know, I saw I saw him playing with good effort. So, um, you know, it's just just been one of those years, really. And do you think that going forward, Josh Allen is still the player that the Jaguars thought he was when they drafted him? And and that rookie year when he I know you weren't here, but that rookie year when he when he led the team in sacks, you know, do you think that's still the guy that they got? Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't here. I don't know what the, what their thoughts were when they drafted him and, and all that. But, um, you know, I, I like Josh Allen. I like I like what, uh, you know, what he can, what has the opportunity to bring to us. Um, it's been, a, it's been a really tough and challenging year for all of us here, you know? So, um, you know, it, that's, uh, it's something we'll continue to, and I know that he'll continue to work on to, to be the best that he can. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thanks Gary. We'll wrap up with Mia. Uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand or else Mia will be the last one. Hey Bev, <clears throat> excuse me, Bev. First thing, uh, JK Scott still on COVID reserve. What do you expect to do at the punter position this upcoming weekend? Yeah, um, you know that's that's why we we had extra punters on the uh, on the uh, practice squad. So we don't expect I don't expect him back, and um, you know so we'll we'll just move on to the next. Gotcha, cool. And then I'm just curious. Um, obviously, you're in an interim role. What was your day to day, week to week interactions weekly with Trent Balky this season? Um, been been much more these last four weeks, you know, um, particularly with this COVID and stuff. So um, interacting with them daily these last four weeks, just uh, getting on the same page, you know, uh, trying to stay on top of the actives, inactives, who's going to be ready to go, um, you know, making a lot of those decisions that way because um, COVID definitely made that more way more challenging. Knowing you had the interim experience, the head coaching experience in Detroit and then here, um, I guess how much more, how much less hands-on is the GM role here in Jacksonville from what you saw in Detroit when you were in that capacity? Um, well, there wasn't a GM in, in Detroit at the time when I was, when, you know, when I became the, the interim. So there was no interaction there. Um, so obviously there's, there's was, has been much more here. Gotcha. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Mia. We'll finish up with D-Rock and then Mark. Hey, Daryl, what's the uh, status of Travis Etienne? How does he look in terms of his rehab? Is he running now? Can you kind of just give us an update, please? Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's been doing a great job of uh, being around in the building. You know, we really wanted to keep him around and make sure that he continued to grow with the football stuff. Um, as far as the, um, the progression, you know, I know that he was, he was on a non-weight bearing for a long time. He's, he's now off, off of um, everything now and, and walking around. Um, as far as um, anything more than that, I don't think he's back running yet. Um, I don't think we're at that point. How about DJ Chark? Is he progressing the way you guys had hoped? Progre progressing the same way. Um, you know, I know that he's, he's done a little bit, uh, but uh, he's, he's not like full running or anything yet. Thank you. Thanks, Darrell. We'll go to Mark Long to bring us Hi, Daryl. Hey, Mark. Hey, I know you guys normally have blinders on earlier in the week, you know, really focused on getting ready, but late in the week, kind of that changes. Have you, do you get a lot of phone calls? Have you gotten a lot of phone calls or texts about this week and the, the strangeness of 
of what's going on around the franchise with the fan base and whatnot? I, I don't know. Now, now my girls, they, they, they did a great job. They made it a great day. My wife and my three daughters, they did a, uh, they made it for a great day. Yes. Right. If we had been in the building, we would have gotten you a cake. Rest oh, assured. Let, let the record. You need to, you need to talk with Amy because Amy didn't do it either. <laughs> I want that on the record. We would have gotten you a cake. But... Appreciate it. Alex is in charge of the cakes, by the way. <laughs> thanks, Mark. Uh, thank you, coach. You're good to All go. Right. All right. Thanks. Thank you guys.